you're finally hopping into a game of Supervive and... Wait, what does that mean? Welcome back everyone to Supervive 101, a series where we will be breaking down everything you need to know about the game Supervive, formerly Project Loki. In today's video, we're going to be covering the HUD, everything you see on your game screen and what it means for you. Starting off with the upper left hand side of the screen, we have the in-game timer, helpful for if you're trying to see how fast you can get a W. Not much else with that really. Just to the right of that is an indicator for what the current storm shift is. If you forgot what it said at the start, you can always hover your mouse over the icon to get a brief description. And underneath that is the mini map. If you want to open the full map, you can press either tab or M. When the full map is shown, it'll have current match info available for you to glance at as well. A more important timer is located just under the mini map. This gauge tells you if it's day, night, or an end game cycle, how much time is left in said cycle, and what the level cap is currently. It also has a star symbol on it. This little icon tells you when the storm is going to start closing into its next destination, so use it to plan accordingly. Underneath that meter is your team's info. Here you can see who everyone is using, their health and armor state, if they're knocked, and if their ult is up. That's right, you no longer need to ask or assume. You can glance over, see the screen dot, and then you'll know that they have the strongest ability primed and ready to go. If a teammate requests gold for purchase from the shop, it'll show up to the right of their character info. If you don't know how to request gold, you just click your mouse scroll wheel on the item you wish to purchase. No need to drop gold anymore. Here you have your in-game text chat. So if you want to talk to your teammates, not over the mic, but through the keyboard, you can do that here. It also gives you updates as to what's going on with your team. In the bottom left, you'll find all the info for your hunter, starting with her splash art. Shout outs to the Theorycraft design team. Just to the left of their art is a symbol. Hover over that and it will describe the hunter's passive ability. Just in case you didn't read it prior, at least you can do it here. If you hover over their weapon just to the right of the art, it'll describe their left mouse button attack. Here you have your health and mana information, as well as your current level and experience count needed for a level up. Moving along, we have your hunter's abilities. If you hover over them with the mouse, you'll see what later levels will bring. Remember, you can only get one of them to three unless you get the XP soul and hit level 10. At that point, two of your abilities can reach rank three. If an ability has multiple charges, such as dashes in this example, you'll see a counter just above it. You'll also see what button you have assigned to each ability just below them. To the right of your abilities, you have your powers. If it's an active power, you'll see the assign button underneath it, and if it's passive, then you won't see the key binding. If you try to replace one of them, you'll see a pop-up where you can choose which to drop. You can also drag and drop your powers onto the screen if you want to give them to a teammate. Moving on to the center of the screen, you have your hunter and everything within your field of vision. Here you can see your health, mana, armor status, and what powers you have. Note that you can also see this info for teammates and enemies, so try to look for what powers they have before you engage. On your mouse icon, you can see time remaining if you try to use an ability while it's on cooldown. You can also see how many charges you have of said ability. In the top right of the screen, we have teams and players remaining. This includes your team. Sometimes it'll show question marks. That just means you have to explore and find out for yourself or wait for it to update. Under that, you have the two souls that will spawn in the game. As usual, you can hover over it for the information on the souls if you can't tell by the symbols just yet. This also tells you what team grabbed the souls. You can tell that by the color shift. You also have your knocks, revives, assists, and damage dealt. Don't judge me. Under all this is where fight results will show. Anyone who gets knocked or boxed will show up here. As well, it'll showcase when an entire team gets eliminated. If you get knocked, then it will show your death recap in case you're curious as to what blew you up. Moving on down is where you can see current status effects and stacks that you're trying to pile up. For example, if you're running Rampage on your equipment and you want to see what your stack count is, you'll hover over it and see it here. It'll also tell you about your soul powers, if you're stealthed, so on and so forth. Under your status information, you can see your current damage, speed, ability haste, omnivamp, and any other stats equipment can increase. Lastly, we have your gear. On your left is your consumables. Vive Beans and Brews will always be locked in as one of your options. The other slots are all about what you find. You can rearrange them as needed, and, you guessed it, you can hover over them to see what they do. Next is your two pieces of equipment, your boots, and your armor. And lastly, in the far bottom right, you have your power shards and your current gold count. 
And that about wraps it up for the HUD. If you have any questions or notice anything I missed, please be sure to leave a comment so I can correct it. As well, if there's any topics you'd like me to cover, just let me know. If you like this content, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, have fun in the matches, and as always, just keep vibing. I think oh! it's <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh! No way! The bishop from the top rope!